Thank you, Aaron. And looking like a pretty nice day out there, even though those 70s are gone. But hey, oh, well, in consideration of recent online celebrity drama, is cyberbullying more prevalent for kids? Maddie Sexton has the story. Good morning, Maddie. Good morning, Chase. I stopped by my alma mater yesterday and spoke to the Nettleton social worker and a couple of students about their experience with cyberbullying. And due to the rise in social media, online bullying is seen more and more every day. I had it from fifth grade all the way till my 10th grade year. That's five years of online harassment that Nettleton student Carmen McShann had to deal with. Just as the use of technology itself has evolved, so has the ability to bully. I would get sent stuff or I would see it all on social media and it got so bad to the point where I really had to just like delete everything. Cyberbullying is defined as unwanted, repeated, negative behavior that takes place over digital devices. Some students are more prone to say things over a phone or a text than they would face-to-face. Uh, -face. According to the Youth Risk Behavior Surveillance System, 15% of students have been electronically bullied, whether that be through posting or messaging. Like, I thought it would never stop, but eventually it got better. Social worker for Nettleton, Amy Reed, said she sees cyberbullying more frequent than she would like and that if this is happening to a student, to let someone know. You know, we always encourage kids, you know, whether we're in a group setting or an individual setting, if you know this is going on, if it's been done to you, you know, please speak up. Cyberbullying can cause mental health issues like anxiety and depression, and the students say it's mentally draining. It's, it took a mental toll, a very, very bad mental toll, and I had to get away from it all. The students say it's hard to tell someone out of fear of not being taken serious. You try like to tell them like it's happening but like no one would listen. So because it's been going on for so long and they are just at their wits end, they're fed up and they want something done about it. Both students said after talking to someone, they felt tremendously better. There's not as much pain as it was when you weren't saying anything. And for Derek Island, he said support from his family did wonders. Trying to stay positive was the goal. That's what my parents always said, just stay positive through it. And that's what I did. Reed encourages students who are going through this to tell your parents or guardian because they have the power to take it further than schools by reaching out to local law enforcement. There are laws on cyberbullying in the state of Arkansas, so if you or your child are going through something similar, do not hesitate to reach out. In studio, Maddie Sexton, Good Morning Region 8.